You're listening to the Fairies and Folklore Podcast by Renal. I'm dark fantasy author Renal Janssel van Vieren. With nearly a decade of digging around in dusty folklore books, researching creatures of imagination that ignited my curiosity, I'm here to share the folklore in a nutshell and how I reimagined it for my writing in An Origin of the Fae. This is the Fairies and Folklore Podcast. Hi, I'm your host, Rinal Janssen von Vieren. You can just call me Rinal. In today's episode, we're continuing our exploration of the Fae realm. This episode is brought to you by my book, Once, Tales, Myths and Legends of Fairy, available in ebook, paperback and audiobook. Go to renaldemissmaker.com forward slash my hyphen books for more. We are continuing our exploration of the Fae realm. Today's subject, Iron and Fae, Folklore in a Nutshell by Renal. Knowing that the Fae are part of our world necessitates knowing how to interact with them and how to protect oneself from them. A popular and effective way is iron. Since iron was turned into a usable product, it had been believed to repel the supernatural. Nailing a horseshoe to a door repels evil spirits. Surrounding a graveyard with an iron fence keeps the ghosts inside. Burying an iron knife to the entrance of your home will keep witches from entering. Using an iron bed frame to sleep in will keep fairies away. Iron scissors kept in a cradle will prevent fairies from stealing the infant and replacing it with a changeling. Cold iron is a poetic form of iron and in modern times cold steel is used in its place. This is basically a weapon forged from iron that can draw blood. Iron is lethal to fairies and burns them on contact. Perhaps iron has natural anti-magic qualities as it symbolizes the fading of magic and the march of industrialization. It should be noted that fairy means all supernatural creatures and that not all fae are affected by iron, only most. From Pliny the Elder touting the protective properties of iron back in 79 AD to people nailing iron horseshoes to their door frames today. When we bought our home a little over a decade ago, it had several horseshoes and other iron defences nailed around the entrances. We know that iron has value as much more than just scrap metal. And now for my interpretation of the Fae in an origin of the Fae, Iron and Fae. Fae are allergic to iron, some more than others. Iron drains them of their magic and then their life force. The mortal realm reeks of iron. Only the most desperate face will reside in the mortal realm. Some fae, such as the court monarchs and the assassin, are immune to iron. As a little bonus, let's look at a translation of iron and fae into Afrikaans. Aster in fear. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairies and Folklore podcast and that you've learned something new about fairy. Remember that you can get a transcript of this episode in the description. If you're new to the podcast, why not go and grab your free copy of Unseen, the second book in the fairy tale series, on my website, renaldemythmaker.com. Loads of folklore, magic, and danger await. Take care.